This is Raj Shivare, your best buddy, and you are on the channel Learn Anything, where we always learn something new every day. So, in the last video, I have shown you how you can show your image and how you can get the info that is information of the given image. Okay, just like the size and the format, and that's all uh, stuff like that. Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can cut out a, a piece from your image. Okay. That means this is uh, you can uh, think about it like cropping your image. You might have uh, do this a lot of time when you when you try to upload the videos on Facebook. Uh, it needs the uh, the photos used to be uh, cut out uh, so that it uh, sets on a specific dimensions for the Facebook profile picture, right? Well, we will not go into that uh, that high level um, stuff, but. We will do something uh, really cool, and that will uh, need a four tuple uh, input. Okay, so let me uh, first of all explain you what I am talking about. So this is, this is the image that I am gonna use, and uh, uh, yeah. Now suppose that uh, you wanna upload this image. Okay, so suppose that you wanna just uh, make sure that this much of the image a uh, portion is selected for the profile okay or you just wanna uh, cut uh, a specific side of the image that means you don't wanna this kind this stuff or uh, you don't wanna any kind of stuff on, on the above side you just wanna uh, get the learn anything uh, name so you can do that also with the help of uh, python pip was not pip pil okay so let me show you how we can do this so my image is actually 1080 by 720 pixels okay so first of all let me tell you that how we will do it so let me take this all take this shit all uh, and i'm gonna cut that all so first of all we have to think about what area or how much area of the image should be cut down okay now suppose that uh, this is the image and uh, you just wanna take a small piece of this image this much piece okay this much piece from here on you so you, what you have to do is first of all you have to define that from which point you are uh, starting or you are trying to measure the width and the height that means suppose that from this point okay where the mouse cursor is now from this point you want to cut this much uh, height and uh, this much width that means this much image this uh, size of image will be cut down from this image uh, from this given image okay so first of all you have to uh, you have to uh, select from which coordinate that means coordinate uh, okay from which coordinate you want to start and then you have to uh, tell the python that where it should stop that means what should be the width and what should be height of that uh, uh, cut down piece so to do that you have to specify the co ending coordinate also okay so that your starting coordinate was this like say 200 by 200 and uh, you want to like say 300 pixel width and 300 pixel height so what you will do is uh, you will write this 300 by 300 and uh, it will cut down and the 300 by 300 point may be some lies somewhere here so it will cut down uh, uh, an image uh, a piece actually from this image of this much uh, size I think uh, let's, it's just a rough idea I'm not saying that uh, this is the 200 by 200 this is the 200 pixel or this is the 300 pixel it's a rough idea and uh, you can do this with any image of yours okay so let's start suppose that I want to cut my image from a pixel let's say 400 and 400 so let's define a variable let's assign a variable so variable will be area because we uh, want to get the area of the image we want to cut down okay so it will be a tuple okay now here i will write some integers uh, remember guys that you cannot write fractions because uh, the computer cannot divide one pixel into 
2 pixel because the pixel is the smallest one that a uh, computer screen is having so you can write here a fraction number or a float number we have to write integers only so first two integers will be the coordinates of of the starting point okay so first two let me uh, think about that let's say 400 comma 400 so these first two are actually the coordinates of starting points so i think if you have a uh, um, good understanding of coordinate geometry a maths uh, topic then you might not be surprised with the with the coordinate system okay uh, and now the next two will be the ending point of the image so let's say the ending point is um let's say um 800 comma um 850 okay so um this is the area of our image the first two uh, numbers this number was the coordinate of starting point and this is the coordinate of the ending point okay so so first of all what we have to show what do we have to do is let me just cut out cut this thing all uh, i have to write here instead of show uh, let me first of all define a new variable the variable will be um, um, cutting of not not cutting will be what name it should have like the new underscore image i will write in short img new image equals to and then you have to uh, remove this show instead of show you have to write image dot crop so it will actually cut the piece of the image you want and uh, here you have to write this variable area well you can directly put um, this much okay uh, wait a minute well you can actually directly put this all value but it will actually uh, mess and you won't be able to um, you you know what we used to say you will not be able to uh, change them easily and if you are making a really good and uh, big program then it is better to use area uh, it is better to use a variable instead of uh, writing the whole numbers in the tuple only okay so here we will what we will do is uh, so here what we will do is uh, we will just write here area variable okay this area variable is this area um, let me highlight it oh man oh wait a minute okay so this area is actually this variable which we are representing okay area so what it will do actually okay obviously guys you may have um, a question that what will this function do so the, uh, the thing is that this function will actually cut down a piece from your image according to the given numbers given input okay okay and uh, remember that this is actually not um, this image okay this is not this uh, this is uh, this image word is actually a variable for our image object it uh, this image refers to this variable okay that means our snapshot underscore edited dot jpg now once we crop once we uh, cut down the image that new image will be stored in this variable okay and now we will have uh, let me just um, right here image not image new underscore image um, then dot show okay new underscore image dot show to show that to show the new cut down area of the image 
um so let's uh, start let me run it again okay so okay guys so we got an error and the error is unexpected indent okay where the indent is okay this is the indent unexpected indent obviously so now it should work let's just run it let's just make that thing work <laughs> this this is what uh, new programmer used to have in their mind that just make that thing work don't care about efficiency and other things just just make that thing work so this is what i am doing all this time uh, so it is uh, running you can see here this is the console where the program is actually executing process process finished okay okay so you can see that guys we got a cut piece of our uh, file let me show you that the original file well the original file was this uh, let me get it right for you okay so our original file was this okay and the cut down file is this the cropped image is this so this is how you can actually specify or you can actually um remove an unwanted part of your image to make that image uh, look good and other kind of stuff okay so this is how you can actually uh, crop your image in the pil and uh, this function is uh, really helpful in making uh, in making uh, different types of applications which uses images and uh, now you may have a question in your mind that we are having photoshop we are having uh, different types of photo editors then why are we doing all this stuff in the python pil library right we can do all this thing in uh, other software also there are a lot of free and paid softwares for us well the answer for this is um, that those softwares are just for your help um, you cannot use them in your uh, programs uh, do you have you can use them actually many of them you can use uh, but you have to get the permission from the uh, owner but now so uh, now this this python image library uh, you can use it in your program without asking for any permission and uh, this is just and this will add more quality to your applications actually and i know that you will make applications which will be really really good and uh, this kind of question really pops up in many people's mind many students mind so uh, the my work is to answer these kind of questions and i hope that i am uh, getting some success in this and i'm doing right so um, if you have any questions or if you want uh, to suggest, suggest to me that what i'm doing wrong and how can i uh, solve the uh, how can i uh, solve the problems of uh, different people and of your also then just comment uh, the suggestion and those comments in the comment box obviously guys because i am i'm willing to solve your questions and uh, i will definitely reply you guys in within 24 hours you will get a reply from me uh, whether uh, and uh, uh, once again guys please don't forget to subscribe and uh, if this video helped you then please sub uh, subscribe and if you don't like this video then you can also give it a dislike but i hope that you uh, like this video because i thought that um, people will like who are having interest in python and uh, who really wants to get programming understood so if you have any questions and if you want to suggest me anything then just comment that in the comment box i will definitely read them and uh, i will try to apply them in my videos and uh, uh, i will definitely reply you guys i will definitely try to solve your question because uh, i know how it feels when someone uh, is having a question and he or she is not able to solve that question by on, on his own so i will try my best i will give my best shot to uh, solve that query solve that problem but there are so many errors that uh, are not uh, solvable with me but uh, but those errors are really high level errors and uh, 
it is really 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 less probability that you will get those kind of errors so if you have any kind of error they just post that in the comment box and i will reply you guys within 24 hours regarding any kind of news of that error and uh, most of the time i used to solve the errors so there are uh, very less error that i couldn't have solved but uh, there are uh, many errors that i have solved actually so if you have any question uh, once again i am saying that if you have any question then just don't hesitate just comment that in the comment box and uh, i will be there for your help i will just uh, reply in within 24 hours okay so you'll get a reply definitely you will get a reply so in the next video i will show you something more cool about uh, pil and in this video as you have uh, uh, saw that how you can actually cut down a piece of your image then uh, i think you will use it in your python programs and re remember guys that whatever this stuff is you can here see that this kind of course you can just don't directly apply this kind of course in your uh, in your programs okay you have to uh, start thinking creatively just like we uh, just like i used pygame logic and some course in my jarvis program to make the mouse move with the help of voice uh, so that kind of creativity you also need to show and i know that you have a lot of creative mind and you can do everything whatever you want and i will be with you in your every journey so don't think don't forget to subscribe and just ask me any question i'm just a click away from you and uh, in the next video i will show you something more cool stuff about pil and uh, that's it for this video so till the next video goodbye